you know that the Romani people, also known as gypsies, actually originate from South Asia? It is thought that they're actually from the part of Northern India, and they fled Northern India due to a war. One similarity I found fascinating that I only realised myself the other day, this is the Romani gypsy flag, and this is the Indian flag. Now tell me what is similar. They both have that wheel in the middle of their flag. Now it might not seem like much, but most Roman Gypsies live in the Balkans or Southern Eastern Europe. And not even their great, great grandparents would have been from Northern India. For them to still have that like representation in their flag to like kind of where they're from in the past is fascinating. It's pretty clear that they come from some part of South Asia because I've met many Polish Gypsies, Romanian Gypsies, Bulgarian Gypsies in my life. And they never look Southern Eastern European or Eastern European or Balkan. The thing is, one thing about gypsies are they always mingle within their own communities. Even a thousand years later, they still look South Asian because the majority of them wouldn't have integrated and married with the people of the nation that they're in now. now when you think of gypsies, people automatically think Romania and gypsy. I think they get the word Romani and Romania mixed up. They think gypsies are Romanian people. They're not, obviously. But in actual fact, I think Turkey actually has the highest population of gypsies in the world. There's estimated between 500,000 and 2.7 million. And in most of these countries, gypsies are the most talented musicians. Gypsies are very good at making music. For example, Sibel Can. And Husnu. Even in North Cyprus, we have a group of gypsy people called the Gurbeti people. And it's funny because Cyprus and Turkey, the gypsies are probably the only gypsies in the world that are Muslim. Whereas majority of gypsies across the world are probably Christian.